With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. The question is, CuFeS2 plus oxygen in excess when heated, you get two compounds in solid state X and Y. We have to identify this X and Y. Note is given, the responding sulfates of copper and iron are formed respectively. Which is correct? Choose for X and Y. Four options have been given. Okay. Now let us solve. First of all, we shall write the reaction for this CuFeS2 plus oxygen excess. Okay. CuFeS2 plus oxygen in excess. So after reaction, so after reaction, the products formed are, it is given over there, the sulfates of copper and iron are formed. So first is formed CuSO4, CuSO4 plus FeSO4, FeSO4. Both are in solid state. So now to balance this, 4O2. If you write here 4O2, the equation is balanced. Now the first statement is X liberates iodine and soluble iodides like Ki. Okay? X liberates iodine from soluble iodides like Ki. So here X is copper sulfate. And Y is ferrous sulfate. So now from X, that means CuSO4 plus Ki, that is potassium iodide, they react together and then they form Cui, Cui, that is copper iodide. Iodine is released, I2, and then K2SO4 is formed. Okay, potassium. So here to balance this equation, you need to write 2CuSO4, then 4Ki, and here you have to write 2Cui plus I2 and 2K2SO4. Okay, this is a balanced equation. So here what is happening is, here Cu is 2 plus, here it is 2 plus, it is getting reduced to 1 plus. And then from here potassium iodide, iodine is potassium iodide is being oxidized to iodine. Okay, So when this is being ionized, this is being oxidized, that means copper sulfate is acting as an oxidizing agent and it itself gets reduced to Cui. Now, so first statement is the correct statement that is X liberates iodine. This is the correct statement because copper sulfate X is liberating iodine. Okay, X is liberating iodine. So this is a correct statement. Let's go to the second statement. Why liberates, why on heating liberates only sulfur trioxide? That is a wrong statement. Why is FeSO4 Fe, when this is heated? You get Fe2O3 that is ferric oxide plus SO2, sulfur dioxide, and sulfur trioxide. Okay, two gases are formed, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. And to balance this equation, you have to write 2FeSO4 and the equation is balanced. So therefore, what is given over here, it is a wrong statement because it is given only sulfur trioxide is liberated, but even sulfur dioxide is also liberated. So therefore, this is a wrong statement. Now let's go to the third one. X forms bluish white precipitate with sodium hydroxide, which re dissolves in excess of sodium hydroxide. So, let us go to the third statement. X 
x is copper sulfate. So CuSO4 reacts with NaOH and forms a blue precipitate that is CuOH twice. First sodium sulfate Na2SO4 and then blue precipitate is formed of CuOH twice it is a precipitate and then this is blue okay and this blue precipitate does not dissolve okay this does not dissolve in does not dissolve in excess of any okay does not dissolve in excess NaOH. This is blue precipitate. So therefore, the third statement is also wrong as it is mentioned that it re-dissolves it is mentioned. So this is also wrong. Let us see the fourth one. Why on reaction with potassium ferricyanide gives brown precipitate it is given over there. Now let us write the equation. The fourth equation. We will write the balanced equation. 3FeSO4. SO4, this is Y. Reacts with. It is given over there. Potassium ferricyanide. So. 2K3. FeCN. A deep blue compound that is Fe3 Fe6 twice. So this is deep blue compound. Okay, this is deep blue and not brown color. It is deep blue along with this. K2SO4 is formed. K2SO4 is formed. So therefore, this is also wrong because in the statement it is mentioned as brown color. It is mentioned as brown precipitate, which is also wrong. It is a blue precipitate which is formed. So now we know that among these four, only the first option is the correct option, and that is the so first option is the correct answer. I hope all of you have understood. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.